hello hi everybody in this video you are going to learn about the problem solving of compound ratio and the compound proportion here i'm going to give you some examples also by using compound ratio we can express two simple ratios as a single ratio that means uh, if we have any two ratios that we can express as a single ratio for example here a is to b and c is to d are two simple ratios these two ratio we can express as single ratio like uh, by multiplying the first terms like a into c is to b into d that means ac is to bd so in this way we can express two single ratios simple ratios we can express as a ratio and i told you already in the ratios first terms are called uh, antecedents and second terms are called consequence so here how we are uh, doing this the product of the antecedents is to product of the consequence that means product of first terms is to product of second terms is the compound ratio of the given two ratios for example here two ratios are there 3 is to 4 and 2 is to 3 then the question is what is the compound ratio of the given two ratios at this time according to the formula the product of antecedents is to product of consequence that means first terms we have to multiply that is uh, 3 into 2 is to 4 into 3 then we'll get 3 to the 6 and 4 3 is a 12 so this is the compound ratio of the given two ratios in this way we can find the compound ratio of any given ratio here is a problem that is if the compound ratio of 5 is to 8 and 3 is to 7 is 45 is to x then find the x value what is the x value in these kind of problems first find the compound ratio of uh, given two ratios 5 is to 8 and 3 is to 7 what is the compound ratio product of first terms is to product of second terms so we'll get uh, 15 is to 56 this is the compound ratio of these two but already they have given the compound ratio of the given things is 45 is to x then these two are equal or not for 45 is to x so when two ratios are equal then we can use that formula proportion formula product of uh, extremes is equal to product of means by using that 15 into x is equal to 56 into 45 product of extremes product of means now what is the x value x is equal to 56 into 45 divided by 15 if we simplify this we will get the answer so after simplifying this we'll get 168 is the x value these kind of problems also we can solve by using a compound ratio yes here coming to compound proportion actually a change happens in a quantity is depends on the another two or more quantities so those kind of problems we have to solve by compound proportion uh, situation already we have learned about direct proportion and inverse proportion in those concepts uh, only the change of a quantity is depends on another quantity only two quantities we are comparing but here coming to compound proportion there are three quantities are there now i am going to explain one example easily you can understand what are uh, what are the changes happens and uh, how to solve those things uh, it is very very important and a uh, little bit difficult concept for the students and you have to follow the uh, procedure the method you have to follow here there is no formulas like uh, direct proportion and inverse proportion here you have to observe the methods and steps uh, the method you have to understand yes here is a problem for you 12 painters can paint a wall of 180 meter long in three days how many painters are required to paint a 200 meter long wall in five days so in this problem 
first we have to find the what are the three quantities i told you all the three quantities are there 12 painters they are painting 180 meter long wall in three days this is the first situation and coming to second situation how many painters here number of painters we don't know but uh, they are uh, painting 200 meters long wall in five days so like that after reading the problem we have to find the quantities three quantities after that write the write their values so like that, in the first step we have to prepare a table here see first we have to write the three quantities that is number of painters length of the wall and uh, number of days then according to the problem how many number of painters are there in first situation 12 painters how much uh, paint they are 180 meter wall how many days they are taking three days they are taking and coming to second situation here number of painters we don't know take it as x unknown thing and uh, coming to how much uh, 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 wall they are painting that is 200 meters and how many days they are taking five days they are taking after writing these values now compare the three quantities here unknown quantity is number of painters so with this number of painters we have to compare length of the wall after that number of painters to number of days after comparison we have to conclude uh, these two are in which uh, proportion like a direct proportion or inverse proportion for example here is here you take a uh, number of painters to length of the wall here length of the wall is 180 meters in first situation second situation 200 meters so the painting work is the length is increased here if the length is increased what will be the number of painters painters will be more or less uh, here work is more at the same time painters will be more that means what here uh, uh, length of the wall is increasing at the same time uh, painters also increasing so these two quantities are in direct proportion so here uh, number of painters unknown ratio unknown ratio directly we can write it that is 12 is to x we can write it and here length of the wall is directly proportional to number of painters that's the reason this is also directly we can write it direct proportion they said now coming to number of days and number of painters here number of days are increased number of days are increased three to five increased then what happened here painters painters 12 here second time if days are increased painters will be decrease because here uh, if more days are there less members are required here that's the reason here it is a uh, decreasing that means that means uh, these two quantities are in inverse proportion inverse proportion if these two are in inverse proportion this we have to write it as uh, 5 is to 3 that is the difference uh, between direct proportion and inverse proportion this you have to understand carefully if uh, any two quantities are in direct proportion directly you can write it there is no change in the first term and second term but coming to inverse proportion 3 is to 5 we do not write 5 is to 3 inverse proportion we have to write i hope you understand the first step now come to after finding this ratios is there any simplification is there you can simplify it here uh, i'm going to take uh, some simplification here zero and zero gets cancelled and after that uh, after cancellation i have nine is to ten now here totally three ratios are there after finding these ratios find the compound ratio of uh, these two ratios nine is to ten and five is to three what is the compound ratio of these two i told you already uh, product of antecedents is to product of consequence that is 9 5s are 45 is to 10 3s are 30 so this is compound ratio of these two ratios then this ratio is equal to the given ratio that is 12 is to x then these two ratios are equal equate unknown ratio with the compound ratio now when two ratios are equal 
again we can use that proportion formula here 12 is to x is equal to 45 is to 30 the reason product of extremes is equal to product of means here uh, product of extremes and the product of means product of means i'm writing first to the 12 into 30 after simplification here x is equal to 12 into 30 by 45 after simplification we get x is equal to 8 so what is this x number of uh, uh, painters required number of painters required so the in this way we can find the compound ratio related problems easily if you are not understand one more time you watch this video and easily you can solve all the problems and uh, thank you very much subscribe and share it